The sergeant was a scrawny man in his fifties who resembled a constipated chicken. Sergeant Moo? Ah, Monsieur Stobart, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, yeah, sure. What is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once-over, as you Americans say. Once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will shake him off. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kinda... I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, monsieur. Go on and try to forget. Look, Sergeant, the inspector gave me his card. Yes, monsieur. He wants you to advise him if you have any information concerning this case. Well, I'd be glad to talk with him, but I don't want him working his psycho weirdness on me. Ah, no, monsieur. You are confusing the science of parapsychology with witchcraft. Oh, yeah. What's the difference? We don't do sacrifices. I found this in the street, Sergeant. That, monsieur, is a newspaper, no? There's a note written on it. Salah Edin, 1345. Aha! That stumped you, hasn't it? I have never been stumped, as you put it, in my life, monsieur. It is the name assumed by the clown, no? Salah Edin the clown? I don't think so. See you later, Sergeant. Excuse me, mademoiselle? Hi. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. <laughs> Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nico Collard. From La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account, minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. A clown? It's him again. I found this newspaper outside the cafe. That is not a newspaper, it's a gossip rag. There's something written in it. Salah Eddin, 1345. It sounds like a betting tip. The name of the horse and the time of the race. What do you think? I don't think it is. That's too obvious. I wouldn't mind betting. This is a coded message. It's a romantic notion, but I don't think so. Look, the inspector gave me his card. Also? You know him? Oh, yes, we've met. I didn't know his first name was Augustin. It suits him, I must say. Rosso didn't blink when I told him about the clown. It's as if he already knew. That's typical of a cold fish like Rosso. I've seen cheeseburgers with more spunk. Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Plantart. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. How did Plantard get your name? Through the newspaper, La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Well, somehow the clown must have known about our appointment. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? Mm, I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number.
You help me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on soon, monsieur. Uh, fine. Uh, I'll see you soon. The muscular workman wore a morose expression, like a silent warning to leave him to get on with his job. It was a battered metal toolbox. Set into the huge gate was a smaller access door. The door was securely locked. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, ka! I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Take a look at this. Hey! You're a cop? Don't shout about it. I'm working undercover. Who are you looking for? That's confidential. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like, in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Ho! Oh, those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already! I didn't see a thing! He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Why would I want to help the cops? Community spirit. Uh, together we can combat crime and stuff. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any... bodies? Yeah. An old man was killed. Merd. I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Care beat. I could have knocked his block off. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. Was he the one who died in the cafe? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Bah! Look at these damn bleeding out liberals. Cha! Save the dolphins. Catch them and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Nah, that's more like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. 
The Cephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning, she is. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stop it. Help yourself. I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. It was a metal rod with a handle at one end and a short cross piece at the other. It was a huge and weighty looking engineer's telephone. Hello, Nico Kula. Hello, it's George. Oh, hi. Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Adieu, monsieur. See you. The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico and what she could tell me about the explosion. It was a battered old trash can. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. The drain pipe looked as if it would bear my weight. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. It was a battered old trash can. It was a battered old trash can. I'd had it with sticking my nose into French trash cans. It was an iron cover concealing the entrance to a drain or sewer. It was a plastic crate. There was nothing of interest. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. <laughs> 